an instructional video on how to take a mandibular posterior periapical film. We will be showing the paralleling technique in this video. The distal half of the canine must be captured in a premolar periapical film. A molar periapical should capture distal to the last erupted tooth. These are the contents of an x-ray film kit. This is the front of a film that will face the inside of the mouth. This is the back of the film. This is the equipment that you will use for mandibular posterior periapical. You want the ring to be centered with the bite block. Here she will demonstrate the incorrect way to put the ring together. The clinician will now show the correct way to place the ring together. In some instances, it may be necessary to use cotton for support when taking a periapical film. When placing the film, it should be put in horizontal with the X facing away from the clinician when looking through the yellow ring. The clinician must first turn on the machine and indicate on the control panel which type of x-ray they will be taking. For a posterior periapical, the position indicating device will be positioned horizontally. The clinician will then set the chair up appropriately, making sure to bag the headrest. The patient will then sit in the chair, and the clinician will put the thyroid collar on them. The clinician will now take a premolar periapical, being sure to capture the distal half of the canine. The position indicating device must be placed centered to the ring parallel to the handle. Once the film is set in place, the clinician will then expose the film. We will now show a molar periapical film being taken. For a molar periapical, you want to be sure to capture distal to the last erupted tooth. Aseptic measures must be taken when tearing down the operatory. Be sure to take the thyroid collar off the patient and debag the unit. Cavi wipes can be used to clean the unit.